everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're gonna be trying out cordless hot tools. Let's see if they work this time. Everyone, we are back at it again. I have previously tried cordless hot tools from Amazon on my channel and it did not go well. Really, really, really did not go well. So I don't know really why I'm putting myself back through this, except I kind of have some hope this time. Over the last year, Conair has launched an entire line of cordless tools, and I found a brand that only does cordless hot tools. And it makes me think that there's some hope here. I think we might actually be able to find some tools that work. And because I would desperately love to have the option to not have to plug in my curling iron when 15 girls are getting ready at the same time, or be able to touch up my hair when I'm on the go, or if I'm traveling and I can't get to a outlet, I would love the option for a cordless tool to work. I would also love for life to go back to normal so all of those things would be options. So we're gonna try it today. We're gonna see which, if any, of these tools work and talk about it along the way. Before we get into it, I want to thank today's sponsor, and that is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. You guys don't know by now, I am a huge fan of therapy. <laughs> I would not be where I am, who I am, any of the things if I hadn't walked into my therapist's office for the first time six years ago. And I've been in therapy pretty much consistently since. So if you feel like there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I think it's a really good idea to look into therapy, especially with BetterHelp. Just a little overview, uh, BetterHelp assesses your needs and then matches you with a licensed professional therapist and you can start communicating within 48 hours. There is a really broad range of expertise and BetterHelp's over 15,000 counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas and they're also available worldwide. You can log into your account at any time and message your counselor and you will get time and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly phone or video sessions so you'll never have to wait in an uncomfortable waiting room as is the case with traditional therapy. But it also means that if you're feeling a little bit vulnerable or this is feeling really big for you, it takes the step of having to walk into a room out. And I think that can be really helpful. Also, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so it is easy and free to switch counselors if needed. Plus, the whole thing is less expensive than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. Overall, I'm so glad that secure online counseling is an option and they did give me a special code for my Bradaholic. So if you guys want 10% off your very first month, at betterhelp.com, you can go through my link, betterhelp.com slash Kaylee, and get 10% off your first month. That is the whole month, the first time, 10% off. But that is it for BetterHelp. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you so much for helping to make people's lives better. Okay, I think it's time for some cordless hair tools. Let's go. Okay, first things first, let's introduce the players today. We have three different tools from Conair. This is their unbound line. Here's the third one. These have titanium plates, which are really good for transferring heat quickly and smoothing and adding shine. It can go from 320 to 400 degrees. They take three hours to charge and can work for about 25 minutes depending on the heat setting. The retail price is for them all over the board, anywhere from 50 to $100 depending on where you buy them. The next two I have are from Lunata Beauty. This is their Belisa. And this one is like their star of the show. This is a convertible curling iron, so you can take the clip on and off. They do also sell a flat iron, but I had to cut myself off somewhere. <laughs> These both have two to three hours of charging time. This one works for about 30 to 35 minutes. This one works around 40 minutes, again, depending on the heat setting. And they also have titanium plates. You might notice that we are missing the Dyson straightener and the Conair Unbound Auto Curler. The Dyson straightener was not in the budget for today's video. And the auto curler is just not my cup of tea. I just don't love that style of curler. And because I know that like, no matter what, I wasn't gonna get along with it, I just decided not to include it as part of today's video. But if the unbound line goes well, and you like that style of curler, you would be able to know whether it's gonna be a good fit for you or not. So now that you've been introduced to the players, let's try them on my hair, kind of. I'm gonna use some hair extensions clipped onto my head so that I can get a good overview for how these work, and then I'll be trying some on my hair to see if they're really all that they're cracked up to be. First, I have the Conair Unbound Straightener. The plates are a fairly normal size. They are rounded. They do not float. <laughs> 
a little bit. Okay, this one floats a little. This one does not float. I don't know if they're both supposed to, but only one does. But it's a fairly normal size heating surface. It is already charged and ready to turn on, so let's go. And then inside of here, you set the degrees. We're gonna go with 320. Let's see how long it takes to heat up. We're just gonna plop her on like so. All right, we're heated up. It's been close to a minute. So a little bit of a longer heat up, but not bad. We're just gonna take a piece of hair extensions. These have already had heat protectant applied. And you can see there's already a curl in here. So let's just see how it does as a straightener. Meh. You know, I would have hoped that at that speed it would get it all the way straight. Let's see if a second pass gets it there. Generally with straighteners, you do want to go slower and try to minimize the amount of times you go over the hair. Okay, still a little ripply. That's not a great sign. Let me try another piece. The hairbrush kind of like directing the hair. Okay, okay, that worked, that worked. It redeemed itself. I was concerned for a moment there. <laughs> Let me see how it does trying to put a curl into the hair. So this one has a curl going away from my face. Let's try going toward my face so we're doing something opposite. Oh wow, cordless makes that easier because you're not wrestling with the cord. Oh, that's a lovely curl. Okay, first impressions. So we got straight, especially on the second one, we got really smooth. There's definitely shine. That says good things for the quality of the plates. And then this was not my best curling with the flat iron but it's looking good. I'm not sure about like really tight kinky hair with this flat iron just because it still has a little bit of a wave and this hair is pretty easy to style, but as a touch up, definitely doable. Let's flip sides and try the next tool. Our second one is the Conair Unbound 2-in-1 Styler. This is something I'm usually a little afraid of. It's a straightener in the middle and a curling wand on the outside, but we're gonna see how it goes. Controls are still inside here, which I did appreciate on the last one as well. This time I'm trying 360 just to see if that helps me get like better straightening this time around. Because while my hair is very fine, these hairs are more medium, so they might just need a little more heat. Okay, this one it says only has 25 minutes of cord-free run time. Okay, at this point, we should be fully heated up. I'm a little confused because the outside is not as hot as the inside. Don't touch your curling irons at home, guys. All right, that's confusing, but let's just keep moving. <laughs> let's test the straightening ability first. Oh yeah. I think that's all I was missing on the other side. Just getting it at the right heat and a comb. Look at that. Oh, that's good. All right, let me lock this and see if that makes the outside heat up. It's still not as hot on the outside as it is on the inside. That's weird to me. Let's give you a good chance and we're just gonna try to curl this in the same direction but tighter. 10 seconds on. Oh no. I was hoping for better. This should be tighter than the rest of the curls. This should be springy and it should have felt hot coming off the curling iron and it did not. Let me try doing a flat iron curl with this and see if the curved outside plates do anything interesting for me. I'm gonna curl it towards my face this time. Okay, better, better. That's a good curl. And let's see if I can try it one more time as a curling wand. Okay, that actually got hot this time. What the heck? Oh, it felt hot. I am so confused. It felt really hot and then the second I took it off, it like unraveled. What? I don't understand. That's worse than this one. Well, that was the two in one. <laughs> I think it's time for a new extension weft. Repair your bonds. Protect yourself. You take care of the hair on your head, take care of the hair that you buy. It's just a rule. It's an important one. Okay, I have one more unbound tool and this is their one inch curling iron. So we turn it on from the bottom and we set our temperature. I'm gonna go for 360 and wait for it to heat up. All right, while we wait for this to heat up, let's talk about the size of this one. The last two had pretty normal size working areas. This one is quite little. I think this is maybe six inches, maybe. And then it has a teeny tiny little clip. And the reason the clip is this small is because they want you to be able to use it as a wand and as a clip. But the problem is that with it like this, you can only clip it in at the end and wind it up like old school. Being a professional, I prefer my clips to go all the way so I could use them the way they're meant to be used. So not loving that already. Also, we're still heating up. I think I'm already not a fan. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> oh, that is all the way hot. Okay, you're confused. That's 360. We're gonna go ahead and use it. Put it at the end. That hurts me. Roll it up. Also hurts me, but we're doing it. So the last one didn't get to the temperature it said it was going to, and this one got there really early and didn't realize it. Made a little bit of a hater. That looks lovely. You did that, little buddy. Oh, and it says that it's heated up now. All right, let's try wrapping it like a wand. I think I might like that better. All right, let me see if I can do at least a little something here. Boo, 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 boo. I hate this. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna end up using that clip a whole lot, gonna be honest. And pull over the ends. 
We did a couple different curls there. We've got a traditional ribbon, we've got a wand wave, and we've got a little pulled out wave. I'm sorry, I was pretty rude to you, but you did a good job, no complaints. Okay, so that's Con Air Unbound. Let's move on to checking out the Lunata. Let's start with the Belissa. This one you can get with or without a clip. I clearly went for the wand. And it does come with a silicone sleeve to help protect your bag or your countertop from the heat of the curling iron when you're done with it. All right, let's see. You toggle it on from the bottom and you can go anywhere from 200 to 450 degrees. Oh, and you can go up by 10 degree increments. That's nice. Let's just go ahead and set it right at 350. And we'll see how long it takes to heat up. It's going up at about a degree per second, so I'm assuming it'll take a little while. <laughs> it is really light. I think it's lighter than the Conair tools I was just working with. I'm sorry, I misquoted. This one can last from 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, and it works both unplugged and plugged in that's helpful. So I guess if you run out of charge, you could plug it in and keep using it. It says rapid heating. I'm gonna go ahead and call BS on that one because we're still not close to 300 yet. They also have a couple colors with these if you want a different one. So I'm already appreciating how nice and long this barrel is. You could easily get a few more rotations in with this size section, which is good if you have longer or thicker hair. Ooh, and the section's already heated up. Let's pull it off. Yup. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I wanted the two-in-one to do, and it did not. This is the two-in-one versus the Belissa. It's a little similar, but this one is definitely looser and a little hairier, whereas this one is a lot more ribbony and springy. Boing, not as much. So that was wrapping it flat. Let's try twisting it. Oh, this is making a fun little buzzing noise right now. Why are we buzzing? Can you hear that? That's a little weird. We keep going. Now let's see if I can do like a looser wave real quick. I'm not gonna have as much room to do this, but you know, if you're really committed to the loop. This buzzing is really disconcerting. We've got like a flatter curl, we've got a little bit of a wave, we've got a stretched out wave, and the heat took really quickly and really well. It's what I love to see. All right, now we move on to the big one. This one, for some reason, has something shaking and loose in it, but I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna keep going. It comes with this super cool little silicone sleeve that has little buttons on the back. So you like unbutton it, unwrap it, take it off and reveal their, uh, what do they call this? Lunata Cordless Convertible Curling Iron Slash Wand. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on while we look at what it does. Um, hello. Long press power button, two seconds to turn on device and enter temperature setting mode. What the heck? Hold please. Well, I plugged it in and turned it on and it turned on and then I unplugged it and it stayed on. So that's where we're at today. I will be emailing customer service, <laughs> but for today we got it on. Okay, hold on, let me finish reading this thing. So you can set it to four temperature settings. You have low, medium, and max. It takes four minutes to reach 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And cordless operation time is anywhere from 45 minutes to 60 minutes. That's pretty legit. I like that. And auto shutdown after 20 minutes. I love an auto shutdown. I am a forgetful person. Yeah, you definitely have to read the operating instructions on this one. And um, it like takes very specific button presses and lengths of time. And I know for some people that is way too frustrating to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. It's turned green. It's ready to go. I don't know when that happened, but I'm glad we're here. I'm still concerned by the rattling. <laughs> Do you have to say a one and a quarter inch is not the perfect size for my hair? Just given that my sweet little hair does not like to hold a curl. Okay, yeah. We're ribbony, we're tamed, they're shine, they're smoothness. Okay, let's see if I can get it as tight as possible. And then we take it down and we don't pull on it. And that is about as tight as you can get it. Feeling good about this. And uh, it says not to do this, so shh, I'm not doing it. But uh, you can pop the clip off. Yeah, really don't do that while it's on because it's hot. But now it's a curling wand. So you can take this, wrap your hair around, and then let it go. Lovely. Okay, results, I'm very happy. This looks like a good quality curling iron. This worked like a normal curling iron for me. Only cons that I'm finding on this end of things is that this is a lot heavier than the rest of the tools, and the handle is a little bit warm, and I don't love that because obviously as I'm using it, I don't want this part to get hot. Let me just go ahead and take this off my head so you can take me seriously. Okay, I think it's time to eliminate somebody from the running. Unfortunately, if you do not receive a rose tonight, you will be leaving the mansion. Take a moment to say your goodbyes. The two in one, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say you're going home tonight. You are the weakest link. Please return to the top model house and pack your bags. Because the outside did not get to the same heat as the inside, which makes the two part of the two in one styler tool irrelevant. So we're just gonna go ahead and say nah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
It is really hard to choose between the last four though. I think perhaps let me call in somebody with some long hair and some thick hair to help me test whether or not these other four are already good. Oh, Anna Laura! Hey, Sissy, have you been hearing my journeys thus far? I have. I'm very excited at the overall tone. For the next round of the tournament, we're gonna have Anna Laura test all four because she is A, a person with long, thick hair, and B, a normal hair person. Yes, I have opinions, but normal human skill level. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's see who to choose first. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that one out of gonna the way. Gonna get it out of the way. I'm gonna get it started for you. All right, there you go. Now you're just gonna pull it through. <laughs> All right, we'll try that at 400. I've already experienced quite a bit of freedom. Like I've been mostly evaluating them as tools, but it, it is very freeing to have minimal cordage going on. It is. It's not bad. It's not. I, I think a lot of that was user error. Here, let me try it on this one for you. Okay. I forgot about that. I did try twice on uh, my extension left as well. All right, now we're in my wheelhouse. I'll do one as a wand and one as a... Yeah, what? one with a clip and a twist. <laughs> Take it back to sixth grade, sissy. This is kind of like funny without the uh, cord. Oh, I'm out of room. <laughs> See, that's what I was afraid of. Hey, 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 bounce it down. Oh, you can't do that because the clip doesn't go all the way up. Oh no. I have layers of hair happening, which means the ends are getting posted through and we're gonna stop. You can tell that it was wrapped on top of itself though because it creates that like really like cylindrical yeah. situation. All right, so I'll take this next section as a wand. <laughs> It's crazy! Dun, dun. I know, I haven't been talking enough about that. Like, it is really, really cool to be able to... Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so it, it curled your hair. It curled my hair. It did not have enough room on the thing, so... We're, we're gonna say no to that one for you. Yeah. I'm gonna try the other wand. Perfect length, because I still have some room for my ends to be out. Yeah, and you were able to candy cane, which is good. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. Now on to already my favorite kind of tool to use. A clamp. <laughs> Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's compare the sides, sister. The concern that I have with the flat iron, I think might have been more justified because Italora had to crank it up to 400 degrees. Yeah. It's not a bad curl by any means, but it's not fan freaking tastic. It did take the two passes through with like exposing hair to that much heat is not the most ideal. It also takes twice the time, so yeah. that's not fun. Yeah. All right, then we had our little baby clamp. And as you would expect, this one, <laughs> it was wrapped on top of itself, on top of itself, and so, on top of itself again. Tight, loose, looser. Yep. So what I'm taking away from this, based on the extensions in Anna Laura's hair, is that the curling iron works pretty well. It's just really short. So you're gonna need my length of hair or shorter to really like it. The straightener is fine. I wouldn't buy it for $100, but if you can get it on sale and you're just doing quick little touch-ups or your hair is fairly easy to straighten, it seems like it would be a good option. But if you're going from very, very curly to straight, I would not. All right, but what about the other side? All right, other side worked out a lot better. So we had these little guys coming from the wand curler. Mm -hmm. That performed very similarly to any other wand curler I've used. Mm -hmm. I think they're holding pretty nicely. They were really nice and even shape. Because the barrel was so long, I was able to get it on exactly the way I would normally do it. So that, in my opinion, was the most comparable to a tool that I would typically plug in. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, I am seeing that they're already loosening. So usually it would, it would have gone to this point by like the end of the day. Ooh. So overall, we're gonna keep an eye on that one and a quarter inch if you mm -hmm. wanna keep using it. But yeah. you liked the Belissa tools because they seemed like they were the most normal. Yeah, they seemed very comparable to like normal plug-in tools. I think we've officially eliminated the flat iron. Sorry. So now we have three left. We have one Conair tool left. All right. We have the Belissa and we have the Lunata really long named curling iron. Let me give this one a fair shot on mm -hmm. the shorter layers of my hair and then I'm gonna go in with this one for the rest of it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Weirdly, it helps getting in the back of my neck because I don't have to, I don't know, there's not a cord like flopping around. I don't know, it's easy. All right, well, there's the bottom. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Oh, like, wow. It did loosen up a little bit, but I have a lot of moisturizing products in my hair today, so that's not surprising. I'm gonna do one more layer with that. That wasn't too bad. A 
Okay, here's the after of my Conair Unbound. I had some really good luck in the front where I took tiny, tiny sections. These guys, they're very pretty. This back here, I took bigger sections and it loosened up a lot. Good to know because if you wanna be able to play around with different size curls, you can do that. But the downside of that is that it means you do have to take really small sections to get the actual size curl from the curling iron. We don't love that as much. Let's move on to this one. Wow, this one takes forever to heat up. 27, 28. <laughs> yeah, it's like a degree per second. Oh, it's going at two degrees per second now. Ooh, three. Wow, watch out. All right, here we go. I am so surprised by how well this is going, guys. I know. Can we talk about how different of an experience this is? I mean, I've been able to just get rid of things because I didn't particularly like love them, not because they were burning or shorting out or <laughs> powered by butane. I know. I'm like taking in information. I'm like, oh, is this like a little hot? Is it like a little uncomfortable for my wrist to hold? Those are the kind of things I like to be thinking, thinking of. Oh, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. When did you turn off? Oh no. Barrel hot. Yeah, I'm aware. I would like it to be hot. Yeah, it's dead. You want to test the plugging it into the wall thing? Oh yeah. I have a Velcro roller stuck to my side. <laughs> Welcome to the Kaylee Melissa office. I love that the second I bring you into a video, it just becomes chaos. That's what I do. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so can we point out that these curls look really pretty and shiny? What is that? So you can kind of see the difference here. We've got Conair versus Melissa by Lunata. I've got to say there's more shine on this one than this one for sure. And it's holding better. So uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and say that yes, technically the Conair one does work, but uh, eh, we're not really sure about her. All right, let me see this. Wow, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, especially the top section, which is what I did with the wand. Yeah, the only stuff I'm seeing is like down here and that was yeah. the, the one and a quarter inch. Yeah. Well, overall we have styled hair. We cordlessly, do. But I think it's uh, time for the next round of tournaments. So this tournament involved this curling iron, mm -hmm. that wand, and this clip full wand. Wow, the handle is so hot on this. I'm gonna remove this one next. This one is going home, leaving the island. Even though it can work and it has pretty good results, it's not as good as the Belissa by mm -hmm. Lunata and they're technically at a similar price point. Also, this little clip, I just can't get over it. I feel like that eliminated its uh, yeah, usefulness. Yeah, yeah, I didn't love that. Yeah. And also, like, my top section of hair is so much smoother and nicer looking than the bottom section mm -hmm. of hair, um, and this was responsible for the bottom section. So let's remove that, and we are left exclusively with Lunata tools. You know what? I was really expecting that the $250 one, because it was twice plus some mm -hmm. of the cost of the others was gonna be it. This one, I think, was the most cantankerous of all the ones we dealt with. Yeah. Even though the clip was nice, it had a lot of styling area. It mm -hmm. had a lot of things going for it. Mm. It just was a little too cantankerous and the curls did not hold. No. I think the next one we're gonna eliminate is this one. I think so. However, the <gasps> Belissa by Lunata, it's the lightest one. Mm -hmm. It was the easiest to use. It was the most effective. The curls are holding the most and you can also get it with a full-size clip if you want to yeah. clear, clear winner. winner of the video that shocked me i really i really didn't think it was gonna go that way yeah i really didn't think so either huh. and now look at your little curls they're I so know. pretty popping all righty well thank you sissy i'm gonna let you get moving and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap us up here all right see ya wow guys that went better and differently than i expected let's recap our little tournament shall we first we eliminated the two-in-one because it ended up being a one-in-one. <laughs> the outside didn't get hot enough, therefore, goodbye. Next, we eliminated the straightener because while it would be good at touch-ups, it is not great from start to finish when you really need the sleeky smooth. Goodbye. Then we eliminated this little guy, partially because the teeny tiny clip was driving me crazy <laughs> and partially because it just wasn't performing as well as everything else. We eliminated this big dude, the whole $250 chunk over here, I've honestly got to say this one was the most cantankerous, even though technically it functioned on the hair at the top of the pack. The overall experience was kind of closer to the bottom of the pack. And of course, the star of the show, Belissa by Lunata. This is not the one I expected to shine as bright as it did, 
especially given that it's in that $100 range, so it's not as bad as going full 250. And you can buy it with a clip if you prefer that. I am kind of considering that next. Here's my thoughts though, just generally on whether you need a cordless tool or not. I think one of the fun parts about my job is that I get to really look at all like the new cool stuff and it's really fun for me to get to experience that, but you don't have to go out and buy every cool new thing. Just think about the things that actually can be integrated into your life. So for me, the way that I see these potentially working in my life, and maybe the scenarios that I would recommend buying them for are if you know that you need to touch up a lot. So, you know, when life is normal again, um, if you are out and about all day long and you need your hair to look good at the end of the day, and this happens often, maybe you want something in your glove compartment that you can pull out and use whenever. Maybe for whatever reason, it's hard to get to a plug every time you want to style your hair. Good option there. Maybe you travel a lot. Great option there. So those are kind of the niche opportunities that lend themselves to the cordless experience. I think for myself, I'm definitely going to stick with a cord for the majority of my styling. Even though I had a great experience, I just, I don't necessarily need it. However, I do want to have one on hand for when I'm styling weddings and I have a car camping trip coming up and I still want to be able to curl my hair every now and then even though there's not a plug. So for those reasons, I'm going to be keeping the Belissa by Lunata so that I can just have it whenever I want it. And if for whatever reason, a cordless option sounds good for you, that's the one I recommend from this video. But I'm definitely not saying that you have to go out and buy it just because it like works and is great. I don't ever want the message of my channel to be excess. I don't ever want it to feel like you need to have things on things on things, scrunchies on scrunchies on scrunchies. This is my passion and my vocation, so I have a lot of it. I just wanna give you guys great recommendations so that when it is something that you need, you're able to pick the best one for you. And uh, I hope we did that today. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see me review next, especially if you have more tools. I just have a really fun time doing that. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button to let me know and to help support my channel. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And all of you guys can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Oh no, I went too slow and now I have crazy bangs. Yikes. Pew, pew, pew. Wait, can we refilm that as a montage where I like call in my secret agent friend? Can we just make an Ocean's 8 moment real quick? Anna Laura's like off somewhere curling somebody's hair and she's like, I'm on it.